All right, now I'm going to be using that clip brush a little bit more in the fact that I'm going to mask off my back area right here. So I use Control and Command to make a mask over this entire area. And make sure I'm on the right tool to do that. So not that it's going to hurt my other one. So there we go. And the reason I want to do that is because if you look real close here, that this is such a harsh change in this area, I'm going to have to do something along the means of a clip brush. And here's a little trick, uh, shift control and alt. Okay, so this is how it works. If I click Alt as I'm going through this, there we go. And it's a bit tricky to get started. There we go. So if I'm clicking Alt with control and shift held down and this allows me to go around that form and let go and it'll cut right back into that form just like that very sly okay now I have this okay so that means you know I can kinda hold shift and smooth that one out shift and smooth that one out and I have that now dip that I needed before also gonna clean up the nose a little bit so this makes a great plaster cast right here and I'm just gonna cl clear that mask again I find myself doing that all the time so I'm gonna hold a shift control and alt click this and let's see C on the keyboard would be a good one so clear yep good okay now that this one is out of the way that's as much as I want to do for it there is a hole technically right here I think it would be too hard as a beginning lesson with topology to kind of introduce how to do that hole so we're going to pretend that hole doesn't exist, even though it is a major part of the skull. Okay, so on this one, I can hit C on the keyboard now. And I'm just checking out this bottom jaw to see if there's any uh, major things I need to address on it. Again, I can use that clip brush if I wanted to to really hit home on this this profile. And I can do that by holding or clicking alt as I go along. And this will flatten out these forms quite a bit. Just like that. And then I can move it back in this area. And you can find out that that really makes a nice deformation on it. More like bone. Than anything else all right so that's it um, we are now ready to topologize and we're gonna see how that's possible in the next video this is step um, I, I believe nine so let's see yep step nine so move on to stu step ten